மார்னிங் மரண்டர் மை செல் ஸ்ரீவாணி ஒர்க்கிங் எஸ் அன் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இன்ஜினியரிங் இன் இன்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஏரோநாட்டிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் தொண்டிகல் ஹைட்ரபேட் ஸோ இந்த டுடேஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் சம் ஆஃப் தி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் இன் பாயிண்டிங் தீரம் இன் எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னட்டிக் வேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன்ஸ் டு சால் சம் ஆஃப் தி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு திஸ் பாயிண்டிங் தீரம் வி நீட் டு நோ the values of uh, electric field intensity and the magnetic field intensity then to find the sum of the average powers related to this pointing theorem then now to find the, the you know to solve some problems based upon this pointing theorem we need to know actually first a pointing vector and it is given by p bar equal to e x bar into h y bar right so vector p bar means this p bar can be written as pz into az and ex can be written as ex into ax is multiplied with hy into ay then ex into hy are the two magnitudes and the cross product between two adjacent vectors resultant will be the third hence we can write from this as pz into az equal to ex into hy into az right this is the one of the fundamental equation to solve some of the problems based upon this pointing theorem so the first problem is given as here in a lossless dielectric for which eta equal to 60 pi and mu r equal to 1 and h is to be given as 0.1 cos omega t minus z ax plus 0.5 sin omega t minus z into ay ampere per meter now from that we need to calculate epsilon and omega followed by e right so to find this first epsilon the formula is given by epsilon equal to epsilon not into epsilon r right and we know that you now to find uh, this one epsilon r value see we have to evaluate in here as a epsilon r value so to find this epsilon r we use for a lossless dielectric medium so for a lossless dielectric medium intrinsic impedance eta is to be given as generally it is j omega mu by sigma plus j omega epsilon for lossless means sigma is to be assumed it as zero then if you substitute over here sigma by zero then it will be j omega mu by j omega epsilon can be written then from this these two gets cancelled root over mu by epsilon is to be obtained and here if you substitute mu means mu value as a formula is given by mu not into mu r by epsilon not into epsilon r values right so from this eta not so eta not equal to root over mu not by epsilon not equal to so if you simplify this equation mu not value is to be given as 4 pi into 10 to the minus 7 by epsilon not value as 8.854 into 10 to the minus 12 if we evaluate this one it is to be approximately given as 3 into 10 to the 8 i'm sorry uh, its value is to be approximately equal to 120 pi ohms or 377 ohms are to be obtained free space or lossless dielectric medium intrinsic impedance is eta not is given by 120 pi ohms or 377 ohms so now consider here that value is uh, given by eta not is to be obtained as here 60 pi then eta equal to general it is given by mu by epsilon that can be root of mu not by epsilon not into root of mu r by epsilon r as written then root of mu not by epsilon not value is to be 120 pi and eta is to be given as 60 pi then into root of mu r mu r value is given as 1 and 1 by epsilon to be written now from this 60 pi 120 pi gets cancelled then root epsilon r equal to 2 from this epsilon r equal to 4 is to be obtained so the first value is to be obtained over here as epsilon r and we need to calculate here omega value to find this omega see h equal to 0.1 cos omega t minus beta z generally this h is equation is to be obtained as here hm plus cos omega t minus beta z so in place of beta here we have 1 then beta equal to 1 we need to consider now from that this velocity or oh, sorry wave prop 
angular frequency can be calculated in terms of velocities as omega means velocity equal to omega by beta. From this omega equal to velocity is to be multiplied with beta. As we know that for a free space or a lossless dielectric medium, its value is given as 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second and it is to be multiplied with this, then omega equal to radian. 3 into 10 power 8 radians per second can be obtained as the value of omega. Similarly, now to find this E value, along with this epsilon r and omega, we have to find E value also. To find this E, then we use one of the Maxwell's equation to be derived in the time varying fields as that is del cross E bar equal to minus dou B by dou T. Or this is one of the uh, Maxwell's equation to be derived for the time varying fields to be obtained from Faraday's law or modified form of that one is to be obtained as del cross H bar is equal to J plus J D. As we know that J is uh, given by here sigma into E plus dou d bar is 2 d bar by dou t. Then we know that you know to find here e value, we can use uh, either of these two formulas. It is better to consider according to the Faraday's law del cross e bar equal to minus dou b bar by dou t. So from that del cross e bar is to be equal to minus mu into dou h bar by dou t. Now first consider h bar in place of h bar as 0.1 cos omega t minus uh, beta z into ax plus 0.5 sin omega t minus beta z into ay ampere per meter. So that value we have to consider over here then differentiate that one with respect to the t and to get the value and then you know, to substitute over here in place of mu by mu by mu naught into mu r mu naught value is 4.2 to 10 power minus 7 and mu r by as 1 then in place of mu, the value is to be obtained as 4.2 to 10 power minus 7 and uh, differentiate that uh, total equation with respect to t as h. Now, we are going to get del cross e bar. To find this del cross, e, in, in order to find the e bar, vector e bar, we have to consider both sides integration. Then integration differentiation gets cancelled. Finally, e is to be obtained and generally this e is to be measured in terms of volts per meter. Right? So, this is the way if the electric field intensity is given and we have to magnetic field intensity is given, we have to find electric field intensity based upon the one of the time varying fields Maxwell's equation as Faraday's law. Next one, in a non-magnetic medium E value is given 4 into sin 2 pi into 10 power 7 t into minus 0 0.8 x a z volts per meter. Find epsilon or eta and time average power carried by the wave. Right? So, first in order to find this epsilon r, see uh, from the given E 4 sin omega t means omega value is considered to be as 2 pi into 10 power 7 t and minus beta as this is 0 0.8. Okay. So, from this uh, E value uh, maximum amplitude of this E value is to be considered as 4 and sin 2 pi into 10 power 70 as uh, this total value is to be considered as uh, omega and from this we can calculate f equal to 10 power 7 and beta value is to be as 0 0.8. So to find this um, epsilon r for a non-magnetic medium mu r equal to 1, mu r equal to mu equal to 1 and epsilon r equal to epsilon naught equal to we have to find epsilon play in place of epsilon or eta is to be considered as eta equal to root over mu by epsilon. Now before uh, going to find this eta value as to be we need to find epsilon r. To find this epsilon r we use the formula as um, epsilon naught generally this epsilon can be written as epsilon naught into epsilon r from this epsilon r value to be evaluated as epsilon by epsilon naught. And to find eta intrinsic impedance for a non-magnetic medium its value mu r by mu equal to mu naught equal to mu r equal to sorry mu equal to mu r equal to 1 and epsilon r equal to and uh, this value is to be considered as 1. 
Now from that we will be finding here eta equal to root of mu naught by means this value is given by mu naught by epsilon naught. Now if we substitute here 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 by 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 under root if we evaluate this thing which is approximately equal to 120 pi or 377 ohms are to be obtained as the value of eta. Now we know to find time average power carried by the wave. So as we know that P equal to is a formula is given by E into H. Now we want to substitute in general intrinsic impedance eta equal to E by H. It is the ratio of the electric field strength to the magnetic field strength. Now from this we want to find H value as E by eta. So in place of E if you write 4 by eta by 377 ohms then this is the value to be obtained as h. Okay? So in place of e we have considered the magnitude as for this is to be as 4. Now h is equal to 4 by 377 is to be obtained over here. Then average power means p equal to 1 by 2 into e into h can be considered which is equal to 1 by 2 into e as 4 into h is 4 by 377. So, P equal to this 8 by 377 watts is to be obtained. Right? So, average power means we need to find half into E into H. Now, in order to find H value, we use the formula as intrinsic impedance eta is the ratio of the electric field intensity E to the magnetic field intensity H. Now next one, a plane wave propagating through a medium with which epsilon r equal to 8, mu r equal to 2 and e has a 0.5 e power z sin 10 power h t minus beta z into a x. Now determine the loss tangent and h field and intrinsic impedance. h field means magnetic field intensity and intrinsic impedance means eta we need to find. So to find this here we can use loss tangent first. Loss tangent means the formula is given by here tan theta equal to sigma by omega epsilon and we know that for a uh, omega value now to find omega uh, first sin omega t means this omega value is to be obtained as from the given that is 10 power 8 and epsilon value is uh, given by here uh, epsilon naught into epsilon r epsilon equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r and this can be written as 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 and it is multiplied with the 8 then it is the value just to be obtained as epsilon as 8 into 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 and omega is to be 10 power 8 and uh, sigma need to be considered as very less value. Why? Because if the frequencies are to be high and the conductivities are to be low. Now based upon that we will be calculating the given medium as to be a given if sigma value is to be less and uh, uh, frequencies are to be high means at very low conductivity case at a high frequencies case medium behaves as a dielectric medium. Now from that we will be finding your H field. So to find H field we use uh, the formula is given by del cross E bar equal to minus dou B bar by dou T. Now from this, see if you apply minus dou V bar by dou T equal to del cross E bar. Now explain this one in terms of our Cartesian coordinate system. Why? Because AX is given means this total thing is related to the EX component. In place of EX, we just substitute over here as 0 0.5 E power Z sin 10 power 8 T minus beta Z. Now this, upon expanding this equation, AX into AY then into AZ dou by dou x, dou by dou y, then dou by dou z of and here e x, e y and e z magnitudes of the three directions we need to consider and in place of this e x, e y means a x, a y, a z, dou by dou x, dou by dou y and dou by dou z in the last column ca uh, rows case in place of e x we write here 0 0.5 e power z sin 10 power 8 t minus beta z and y and z components are to be zeros. Upon expanding this equation 
the equation is to be obtained for minus 2b bar by dot t. As we are supposed to evaluate h and we know that b equal to mu into h and this value is to be multiplied means mu naught into mu r into h and we know that mu naught value is 4 point to 10 power minus 7 and mu r is given as here 2 and h is to be obtained from this we have to so find here h value. Now to find this h value again we have to consider both sides integration then integration differentiation gets cancelled and h is to be evaluated whatever the magnitude values are to be obtained over here by in the denominator we will substitute mu naught and mu r values then finally h is to be obtained and this h can be measured as ampere per meter right so magnetic field intensity h is to be evaluated as a, and uh, that can be measured in terms of ampere per meter and after that intrinsic impedance and in general it is to be given by eta equal to e by h as we know that magnitudes of e and h is to be considered and e value is given as here 0 0.5 now after evaluating this h value that h value need to be substituted here and this intrinsic impedance can be measured in terms of ohms. Okay, then next the magnetic field component of an electromagnetic wave propagating through a non-magnetic medium that is mu naught equal to mu is h is equal to 25 sin 2 into 10 power h t plus 6 x a y milli ampere per meter. Now determine from the given values determine the direction of the wave propagation first and the permittivity of the medium and the electric field intensity right so to find this permittivity of the medium we use here first the direction of the wave propagation generally this h is to be written as hm plus sine omega t plus or minus beta z right so in place of uh, here Omega, we have here 2 into 10 power 8 as the value of omega and beta need to be given as minus 6, right? And hm plus value magnitude of the h is to be considered as 25, right? So, from the given, the magnetic field of intensity vector magnitude is 25 and the omega value is 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second and beta value to be obtained as here minus 6. See if you observe the direction of the wave propagation. Generally, this magnetic field intensity h vector can be written as hm plus cos omega t minus beta z or beta x into a y plus hm minus sorry minus hm minus cos omega t plus beta z into a y. So, in the forward as well as the backward direction waves, the traveling wave components are given by cos omega t minus beta x and cos omega t plus beta x. Means here the beta value to be negative, hence it will be propagating in negative x direction. Right? Depending upon the variable is given, then depending upon the beta will need to be considered, then it is to be vary in negative x direction. Right? So, the direction of the wave propagation is in minus x direction. Negative x direction, the wave is to be propagating. Then, permittivity of the medium, it is given by here epsilon. To find this epsilon, and again, we need to know, use the formula for the omega as a velocity v equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon. And we know that in order to find velocity, for a non-magnetic medium, it is 3 into 10 power 8, which is equal to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught into 1 by root of mu or epsilon r, right? So, this can be written as uh, here epsilon r and the mu naught epsilon naught value is to be 3 into 10 power 8 uh, meters per second by root of epsilon r equal to 3 into 10 power 8, okay? So, both gets cancelled then epsilon r equal to 1. This is the way the permittivity of the medium is to be evaluated or otherwise we will go for another formula as well as t v equal to omega by beta. As we know that omega value is uh, here 2 pi f and that will be f value is given as or uh, directly we can consider it as omega value 
as 2 into 10 power 8 by beta is to be minus x. Okay. So, negative value is to be obtained that is the value for the velocity. So, with the help of this velocity also we can find the relative permittivity of that medium is given as 1. Now, to find the electric field intensity h we use here h. The electric field intensity e here we use h value. So, to find that we, uh, we consider the one of the Maxwell's equation to be derived for the time varying fields as del cross e bar equal to minus dou b bar by dou t. Right? So, which is equal to minus dou by dou t of mu into h is to be substituted. Then minus mu into dou h bar by dou t. Now, h bar is to be given as 25 sin 2 into 10 power 8 into t plus 6x. Now, in, in place of h bar, we just substitute uh, the total equation and uh, we need to substitute in place of mu by mu naught into mu r and mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 and mu r is to be or that is to be simply considered as uh, mu and uh, del cross e bar is to be evaluated. To find this del cross e bar means so we can expand that in terms of determinant form and we can simplify that equation then we are going to get the value for the h uh, e is to be obtained where this e is to be measured in terms of volts per meter right so as we know that from the given values omega value and uh, beta value we are going to find the velocity as the formula velocity equal to omega by beta and uh, that is also known as wave velocity or uh, the velocity of light in free space medium and its value to be given by here 3 into n power 8 meters per second. Okay, So, this is the way we can find uh, if the magnetic field intensity is given we have to find electric field intensity then we will go for uh, according to the one of the Maxwell's equation as uh, from the Faraday's law that is del cross e bar equal to minus dou b bar by dou t or we can go for another uh, Maxwell's equation for the uh, time varying fields as del cross h bar equal to j plus jd where j is to be given as a uh, non-magnetic medium means uh, we will consider it as uh, jd itself if j equal to 0 then jd only then jd can be written as dou d bar by dou t and uh, here in place of t if we substitute epsilon into e then epsilon into dou e bar by dou t. So, del cross h bar need to be evaluated in terms of epsilon into dou e bar by dou t. So, dou by dou t of e bar means now to find this one, we we'll just uh, take this epsilon into this side, then 1 by epsilon into del bar cross h bar need to be evaluated. Now, from this, we are going to get dou e bar by dou t. To find the value of this e, we need to consider both sides integration and we are integrating that one with respect to the time t then we will be getting value of electric field intensity vector and this can be measured in terms of volts per meter. Okay. Next, a plane wave propagating through a non-magnetic medium has E equal to 50 sin 10 power 8 T plus 2 into Z A by ampere per meter. Find lambda then epsilon and H. So, from this E is to be given as E bar equal to E m plus into sine omega t that is 10 power 8 t means omega t plus beta z into a y will value is to be given. E m plus magnitude of this electric field intensity vector as 50 and omega value is to be 10 power 8 and beta equal to minus 2 is given. Now, we have to find lambda. So, lambda equal to, now to find lambda is said to be here wavelength and it can be given by lambda equal to 2 pi by beta, where beta value is to be considered as 2 and 2 pi by 2 then gets cancelled lambda equal to pi meters. As we know that its value is 3.14 meters are to be obtained. Wavelength is generally measured in terms of meters. Okay, And to find this epsilon, we use as we know that and velocity equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon and uh, you know to find uh, this velocity and uh, we know that uh, one of the formula is given by velocity equal to omega by 
beta and to find this uh, omega value we have to consider over here n power 8 by beta is to be given by 2 and is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 power 8 meters per second is the value for the velocity. Then from that uh, non-magnetic medium means mu naught is to be equal to mu and its value is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. So velocity is value is given as 0 0.5 into 10 power 8 which is equal to 1 by root of mu naught into epsilon naught into 1 by root of epsilon r. Okay. So in place of epsilon naught uh, we just write here epsilon naught into epsilon naught then root of 1 by mu naught into epsilon naught value is to be given by 3 into 10 power 8 that means 0 0.5 into 10 power 8 equal to 3 into 10 power 8 means the value it is 1 by root of mu naught into epsilon naught equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. The substitute mu naught by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 and epsilon naught by 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 then 2 can be simplified then we, we will be getting the value as 3 into 10 power 8 and in place of 1 by root of mu naught into epsilon naught if we substitute 3 into 10 power 8 by 1 by root epsilon r this 10 power 8 this 10 power 8 gets cancelled then root epsilon r equal to 3 by 0 0.5 so this 0 0.5 can be written as uh, 1 by 2 and uh, so epsilon r equal to 3 square becomes 9 by this 5. So this is the value to be obtained for this 9 by 5 is to be obtained as the value of epsilon r. And similarly now to find this h, again we need to use del cross e bar equal to minus dou b bar by dou t. Right? So first evaluate uh, in place of del cross e bar by a y component is given means only we have to consider y component and uh, in place of x and z components are zeros upon expanding this one del cross e bar in determinant form then we are going to get the value of h right generally this h is to be measured in terms of ampere per meter okay next a 10 giga h is plane wave traveling in a free space has an amplitude of e as E x equal to 10 volts per meter. Find beta, eta, velocity and lambda. Okay. To find this beta first velocity and uh, we know that for a free space medium velocity equal to and uh, it is given by 3 into 10 per 8 velocity and uh, omega value or uh, f value is given as uh, 10 giga hedges. Then to find a beta then velocity equal to omega by beta is to be obtained and this is 2 pi f by beta and in place of f by means omega the formula is given by 2 pi f and which is equal to 2 pi into 10 into 10 power 9 by beta to be written and uh, beta equal to 2 pi into 10 power 10 by this velocity 3 into 10 power 8 meters right so this this gets cancelled that is 2 pi into 100 by 3 is the value for the beta to be obtained and this can be measured in terms of radian per meter right generally this beta to be considered as phase constant and it is measured in terms of radians per meter and intrinsic impedance eta now to find this eta and before going to find this eta, as we know that velocity and beta, lambda can be evaluated, that lambda equal to 2 pi by beta. So 2 pi by, if we substitute in place of beta by this thing, 2 pi into 100 by 3, 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled, 3 by 100 to be obtained, then lambda equal to 0 0.03 meters are to be obtained. Then lambda we have evaluated, velocity we know that and beta we know that. Now to find this intrinsic impedance eta that is root of uh, for a free space medium root of mu by epsilon and which is equal to root over mu naught by epsilon naught. If we substitute mu naught by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 
by epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. Then if you simplify this, eta can be obtained as 120 pi ohms or 377 ohms. Generally, the intrinsic impedance E is to be evaluated as eta is to be measured in terms of ohms. Right? Or instead of finding uh, this uh, eta naught, then how uh, we are going to find uh, this E and H values means in general eta to be given by E by H. Right? To find this H value E by eta needs to be considered and E value is given as eta by 10. Eta naught is 377 ohms. Like this also we are going to find H and H is to be measured in terms of ampere per meter. Next, a plane wave traveling in free space has an average power pointing vector of 5 watts per meter square. Then find the magnitude of electric field intensity. Means for a free space intrinsic impedance eta naught is equal to its value is to be given root of mu naught by epsilon naught which is equal to 120 pi or approximately equal to 377 ohms. Now from this eta naught equal to root of this value is to be given. Now uh, from this uh, eta naught in general we can define intrinsic impedance eta equal to it is the ratio of the electric field strength to the magnetic field strength. So pointing vector p bar is given. Now from this if you evaluate eta means you know to find electric field intensity vector then if you substitute in place of uh, E by means that electric you know to find uh, uh, the pointing vector P equal to it is to be multiplied with E into H right. As we know that in terms of you know to find uh, electric field intensity vector to find E into H is to be written as H is equal to E by eta. So for a free space it is to be represented as eta naught and if you substitute H by that value E into E by eta naught. As we know that eta naught value is 377 ohms or 120 pi and that is to be means E square equal to P into eta naught can be considered. As P means pointing vector is given that is 5 watts then into eta naught is to be multiplied as with 377. Right? And E is equal to magnitude of this one can be considered as root over 377 into 5 is to be obtained and this can be considered means uh, is to be measured in terms of volts per meter. Right? So this is the way we can calculate if the point in vector is given then how to find electric field intensity or magnetic field intensity if you are assuming if the wave is to be traveling in free space medium we just consider intrinsic impedance of the free space medium from that E and H values are to be evaluated and finally those values are to be substituted in pointing vector formula. Okay. So what we have discussed is some of the problems which are involved in the uh, electromagnetic waves and transmission lines based upon pointing theorem we have solved in this particular lecture. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.